Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on this Gourmia Iced Coffee Maker, model number GCM3210. This is Walmart's Black Friday. They've got it on sale for $15. So here's everything that comes in the box. It's got a scoop. It's got a really nice tumbler. It screws on with lid. And there's some markings on it for water and ice. It comes in a couple different colors. I got the, the white one. It's got a switch here for, for no drip, strong, and then regular. And then on the side here, it's got like a push button for start to start the brew. And then up here, we've got a reusable filter. You're gonna take this off. And then this is where you're gonna put the water. And there's a max line right there. And then there's the brew head. So it really looks like they're trying to compete. Mr. Coffee has one almost identical. It's got a filter, this thing, that's where you put the water and it comes with a tumbler. So it looks like they're really competing with the Mr. Coffee. Okay, so let's make some iced coffee. The first thing you're gonna do is fill the tumbler up to the water line and then you gotta take this off and you're gonna dump the water in here Make sure your switch is not on. My switch was on. So water's filled up to the, the, the minimum line there. Next, you're gonna make sure and put this back on. This is where the coffee goes. It, it fits pretty good. It's a little tricky, but you'll get used to it. This is the coffee filter. We're gonna make sure we got this in there. That's kind of a plastic. And it comes with the scoop. Now it says one scoop for the regular setting. One and a half scoops to two scoops for the strong setting. And all that's doing is, it looks like it's changing how much comes out, how fast the water comes out. So it's not really changing the, the temperature of the water, it's only changing how fast the water flows out of the filter basket. For iced coffee, I like to use a medium roast, but you can use any coffee ground coffee ground at a medium grind for like a normal coffee maker. So let's do the strong brew. I do like my iced coffee strong. So I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one and a half. I can go all the way up to two. So there's about one and a half. I got my coffee in, I got my water in. Now I gotta put the ice in. And we're gonna fill this up. There's a line on here that says ice, which is pretty much all the way to the top. Okay, I got my ice in. Now you gotta make sure and put it, the coffee's gonna come out right here. If you don't put the tumbler here, it's gonna make a big mess. So when we're done, I'll turn it to no drip. That's no drip. That completely cuts off the, the coffee coming out. But I'm gonna go to strong brew. I got my ice in, got my water in, and you simply just come over here and hit this button. You'll hear like a click and it does have a little light on it that lights up. Make sure your lid's down. So it starts brewing right away. Okay, so let's check a temperature of the water coming out. Yeah, it's pretty hot. 163, so it's melting that ice pretty quick. It's not very loud. Let's take a peek inside and see. I don't recommend doing this, but I just want to see. Okay, so it looks like it did a pretty good job in there. Okay, so that only took about two minutes. Now the lid does get hot, so be careful. You do get some steam coming out. Even though it sounds like it's done, it's got quite a bit to drip out of there yet. And if I look over, the light did turn off on the switch. Okay, so once it starts dripping like that, then you can turn this switch to no drip. That's gonna keep it from dripping on the counter. Let's take a look, see how it did up here, yeah. Did a really good job with the coffee grounds. So it melted a bunch of the ice. Let's stir it. At this point, you could add some more ice if you wanted to. I like to see how, how cold of a drink do we have right now. So that's where I like to see it. I like to see it under around 35 degrees, and that's where I'm at. 
37, 36. So that's going to be a very nice iced coffee. Again, I can add a little bit more ice. And, and for my iced coffees, I add a little bit of milk. And then I love to add a little French vanilla syrup. Adding the milk and the syrup just gets rid of the uh, bitterness. So the tumbler feels really nice. It's got a lid that screws on. I like that. And you can give it a good stir. Okay, let's give that a good taste. That looks like a really nice drink. Okay, that's a very good iced coffee. Now the strong setting I think worked. That's a very strong iced coffee. I did use one and a half scoops and I can taste it. That's a very strong iced coffee. If I would have just used one scoop and put that switch on regular, it would have tasted a lot different. So yeah, that, that's a pretty impressive little uh, iced coffee maker. I do like that, that bold and regular strength switch. So we come over here again, be careful. This can be hot. This does have a little handle on it. You can go throw the coffee grounds away. Here's our coffee. We need to clean this out. And then it, it brewed all the water that we put in there. So how much ever water you put in there is how much it's gonna brew. So cleanup looks pretty easy. So the manual does say this is dishwasher safe and so is the filter. It's dishwasher safe top rack. So yeah, I'll definitely give this just a dad sticker seal of approval. Thanks everybody for watching. If you got any questions on it, leave them in the comments down below. I check my comments on a daily basis. If you could, please like and subscribe.